India is uh, is uniquely placed to be uh, helpful in in this sphere because you know after the, after the the ambush and murder of the uh, soldiers, the twenty soldiers in Galwan. Uh, you know, one of the first things India did, as you know, within two weeks was ban 59 Chinese apps. Now, that shows an understanding of how China wages political warfare that is more advanced than any anybody else. I mean, not just understanding, but willingness to take action. Nobody else has done that. Yeah. So the expertise that is in the Indian strategic community about the nature of the threat and how to effectively counter the threat is something that uh, would be very helpful to, to many countries if it was shared. Because you know, coming, coming from a Western nation, you know, there's, it's very easy to present it as hypocritical. You know, to cut for for somebody to go from the U.S. to go to the Solomons and say this is what you should do, you know, and the U.S. hasn't banned TikTok and WhatsApp. Um, similarly, uh, you know, in terms of uh, getting bypassing that initial Chinese entry, which is through economics, India is better placed than the other three Quad partners to uh, bolster the economy of a place like the Solomons because. It, the economies are very similar. So um, in the same way that, you know, low cost pharmaceuticals or telemedicine or education or electric vehicles or any of that kind of the affordable, the whole huge range of affordable things that India has has pioneered in order for its own growth. Those are all the things you need in the Solomons. So Solomons, for example, had a really terrible COVID outbreak recently. And it could have used some of the t- techniques, technologies, and approaches that were used in UP. But what they got was, you know, very centralized, um, you know, Western-style vaccination program that didn't include some of the other elements that can be helpful out in the villages, as, as has been proven in India. 